Ray and his sister Arlene were the youngest of nine children, and they both had a bit of mischief in them. They were tight. They were the thickest thieves. <laughs> they were. They were. They were. They were, oh. trouble, they were the troublemakers. They were, yeah. Susan Filkins and her sister Lori Gibson are on a mission. Find the remains of their uncle Ray so their mom, Arlene, can finally have closure. It was really hard on the family because they were a very tight family and it just sent them all sideways. You see it took two years for the Army to even say Ray was missing in action. Everybody was hoping that Ray, Uncle Raymond was alive, of course. Everybody was like, okay, we don't know where he is, but you know, there's that chance. But through the advances of DNA, there is that chance. Ray Yefredi's remains were not identified by American forces. Today, he is memorialized on the tablets of the missing at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii. But just last month, the military pulled up a casket containing the remains of several soldiers. From the time they pull the casket out of the ground in, the, in Hawaii, and it goes directly to the lab on the property, they have two years to identify every bone in that casket, and then they have to put it back in the ground. The two sisters know that the odds may be against them, but what if? What would it mean for their 88-year-old mother who's waited for what seems like an eternity to find out? It would mean, it would mean so much because when Raymond was gone, you know, missing, it actually imploded the whole family. So what it would mean would be um, closure for her and closure for the family. So on this day of remembrance for prisoners of war and missing in action, we salute the sacrifices made by those in uniform and to their families who will never forget. Concerning Lee's South Korean troops, General MacArthur said after a visit to the front that he was highly pleased.